made you a promise, didn't I? Hello everyone, Wizard Clark here, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Last part, we went through a very long, episodic, basically two parts in one, uh, Frieza's three transformations. So, yeah. I said you would experience a dread like no other you felt before. <clears throat> His speed is incredible. So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose. Not as I am now. It seems your moves were too fast for the runs to catch. But I can see them clear as day. Can you know? I admire your confidence, Vegeta. But I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you've become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your greatest fear. A Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan! Frieza's final form. <laughs> how many times did he actually say that? I forgot how many times he actually says that in the show. You haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I'm done! I can see you! Now it's done! Prepare yourself. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm getting wiped here. Okay, cool. Ooh, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Ah, oh, god, block it! Oh, did I beat him already? Wow! Okay, that was a lot quicker than I expected. Nice! Impossible! This can't be happening! I am a Super Saiyan! Go to hell, Frieza! I don't believe it! This can't be! Absurd! This can't be the extent of my power! Are you finished? I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta had finally begun to experience true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight. If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. Overflowing with power. It's actually kind of freaking me out. Whoa, I better get going. Hang on, guys, I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, it up a couple times too. Nice. Uh anything on the way here? Nope. I will though. Uh change my not change my update some of my skill tree. Cause I can now. With the Kamehameha. 
I don't really care about those. That's really not necessary. I can't do that one yet, and I've done those. And skill palette. Uh, good. I right, one more. I'll, I'll go ahead and add that one because why not? Okay, I can. There we go. That's it. All right, Goku. Full speed. Vegeta are all there, and there's someone else there too. I don't know who it is, but their power is incredible. Wait, there's something familiar about it. Is that Piccolo? <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm late. I'll take things from here. Dad. <laughs> Goku. It looks like I still have some trash to dispose of. K Kakarot. <laughs> hmm. Kakarot. Oh, I see. So you're a Saiyan as well. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. <laughs> <laughs> different about Kakarot. Has he finally done it? <clears throat> Is he a Super Saiyan? <clears throat> you actually countered one of my attacks. I'm impressed. <laughs> hmm? Frieza, I'd get serious if I were you. You're finally face to face with your worst nightmare. Uh, a Super Saiyan! <laughs> the, the legendary Saiyan warrior, the strongest fighter in the universe. <laughs> Your finish, Frieza. <laughs> You're finally going to get what you. Did I not make myself clear before? I've grown tired of your pathetic jokes. Stop! Don't you see he can't fight back anymore? He's done. Just let him go. Kakarot, you're just as soft as always. Perhaps you're not a Super Saiyan after all. <laughs> you idiot. Stop letting your emotions hold you back. Stop being so soft and... You can finally do it! You can become a Super Saiyan! Kakarot, listen. Our own planet, Planet Vegeta, wasn't destroyed by a meteor. It... it was Frieza! We... we Saiyans... we Saiyans were his enforcers. We followed his every order. Hmm. Your parents, my father, the king, they... They were all murdered by that monster. <laughs> I beg you, Kakarot, please, please defeat Frieza. Please, I beg of you. He must die by saying hands. <laughs> I was wondering when he'd finally die. Vegeta, it must have been really difficult for a proud guy like you to beg me for help. I hated you at first, but I began to understand over time you were a proud Saiyan warrior. Just know this, I'll do what I can to carry on that pride of yours. Hey, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. And to avenge those you've brutally murdered. The Saiyans and the Namekians. I'm going to defeat you! Utter nonsense. We're just in the way. We need to get out of here. Go on. Come on, hurry! 
Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! It's interesting. Uh, it was weird that they uh, didn't have Goku bury um, Vegeta. Second thing is, I'm surprised that they didn't have Goku like dodge, uh, or not dodge, block Frieza's death beam. They made him do a counter attack instead, which is fine, but it's weird that they made him do that. Fire! That. Oh, that. Yeah, in the in the show, Frieza shoots actually death beams at him, and Goku blocks every single one. And um, instead of kicking him, second thing is at the end once Vegeta dies, Goku actually stares at the uh, ground, yells really loud, and um, not even yells, he just stares and um, makes a hole so he can bury Vegeta. You know what? I didn't notice this when Goku first arrives. One of the things he does is actually is he uh, uh, when he gets to he actually reads Krillin's mind to be like, hey, let me see what's going on by like looking at your mind. And he didn't do that. I don't know if that was an anime thing or it actually happened. Let me finish this really quick. So again, I've been saying this the entire time throughout this entire series so far. I did change a couple of things, which is really weird. Ooh, how did I do that? That was cool. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. Now I'm shirtless. This has been fun. It's been quite some time since I've exerted myself this much. Man, I'm in trouble. If he's serious about the half power thing, then even the Kaioken times 10 isn't gonna be enough. I should be able to hold my own if I push it to times 20, though. My body might not be able to handle it, but I've got to try! One scene in the show they uh, they missed out on was the fact when Frieza was beating Goku, he actually dunked him under the water. Vegeta had an image of Chi Chi and all his friends from Earth. He goes berserk, goes Kaioken, beats the crap out of him, and then does Kamehameha. Again, shorten it. It's not a bad thing, but if you watch the show a lot, you, they miss a couple things you wish they put in there. But that was a good part. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next.